Hi everyone, Amy here, and today I'm going to make an easy encouragement card. So let's get right to it. Now to start, I have a panel that I had previously watercolored. This would actually be some sort of watercolor medium, um, either inks or actual watercolors on watercolor paper. And I have this gorgeous Unity Collection stamp from Hero Arts and these dies from LDRS Creative. Now here are a couple photos of the finished card to show you the direction that we're headed. But really it's just going to be some, you know, stamping and die cutting and embossing and things like that since I already have the panel ready to go. Now if you're familiar or if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I'm a bit of a batching buddy. Now what that means in my world <laughs> is just having a lot of the components ready to go. So I have a whole box of panels that this actually came from that are just various different techniques that I've tried or extra panels that I didn't turn into a card on the spot. And they all kind of go in this box and it affords me the ability to kind of start um, on a design with a huge part of it ready to go. So um, like I said, this was watercolored either either with some sort of reinker or watercolor done directly on a watercolor um, paper. And I'm doing this in the Misty obviously because there's a lot of stamping, but also because whenever you're doing something on watercolor paper, you wanna be able to stamp it more than once because that texture and the tooth on the watercolor paper is make, going to make it not, um, likely to give you a good even impression right on the first stamp. So if you're stamping on watercolor paper and you have a stamp positioner, I definitely recommend using it versus like a stamp block where you only get one shot. So um, I'm actually going to test this layout on a piece of plastic because I'm not entirely sure it's going to look quite right and I don't want to risk um, ruining this pretty watercolor panel that I have. So I like the way that it looks. I'm just going to take that piece of plastic out and wipe it off um, with my stamp chamois and set that aside. And then I will go ahead with the stamping. Now I am stamping with a black rich pigment ink. It's um, VersaFine Claire Nocturne. So this will take a while to dry. So you could either heat set it or give it ample time to sit there and dry before you smudge it or you could even throw some clear embossing ink or embossing powder on top of it and then heat set it and then that will lock in the pigment as well. Now as you can see I'm stamping it multiple times here and then really pushing down on the sentiment. That's how many times it took to get a nice even impression. Now I really love that you are loved, supported, necessary, respected, appreciated on this. And I was kind of trying to figure out initially if I could just leave them right on the plastic. I probably could have found a way to mask it and kind of tape that whole um, sheet onto my door, but I thought eh, I'm just going to take them off because at this point I realized I wanted to match them um, to the colors in the in the um, painting on the front of the panel. So I'm kind of picking out some Catherine Pooler inks um, beyond this first one that I'm doing in black and I'm trying to match them to the colors that I had watercolored on the front. So I'm going to stamp each one of these in a different color to match the front of the card. Um, and I'm just kind of conditioning the stamps with my hands as I go because I haven't used this stamp set before. Now this is an older stamp set. Um, I do believe it's still available. If it is, I will link it in the video description box below. But I'm just going to work through um, quickly here, stamping all the different colors, kind of moving down the same colors that I have on the panel, just to kind of finish the sentiment on the inside of the card. And you'll see what I do on the front of the card after I do all the stamping. I think this is so satisfying. I tried to trim it and speed it up because I love when, I think it's... Laura Basson, she, I love her editing, how she's just like boop, 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 and it's like all the different colors and nice quick editing. So I tried, I tried to be like Laura, but not quite as smooth of a transition as her, but someday I'll get there, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm working through these colors, and then I decided I want to step up the front of the card a little bit further. So I take this panel of 120 pound um, accent opaque cardstock, this is A2 size, and I'm going to spritz it with some water so that the fibers in the paper really take to the design and then I'm going to run it through off screen through my die cutting machine to um, apply this awesome texture and this is organic linen 3D. Um, if you've watched my videos you know I'm obsessed with the all the all to new 3D embossing folders. They're my absolute favorite. So this will give some nice texture and interest to the front of the card and then really it's just a matter of um, attaching all the pieces. So this is the exact same size as the card base of the same card stock so 120 20 pound accent opaque. I'll just use some um, tape runner to apply this. Oh, sorry. 
sorry about my hair there. Um, but I'm going to use some tape runner here to attach this directly to the card base. And then I will also apply the panel. Here I'm just figuring out which side I want to use. I don't think it really matters. It's kind of hard to tell between the embossed and the debossed side on this particular folder um, just because it's so similar in design. So I'm just going to line this up just to make sure it's nice and straight on the card panel and then press it down so it's nice and adhered and I will move on to the next step. And now I check. Now I check to make sure it's put on the right way but I think it would have been okay. <laughs> anyway so now I'm going to put some foam tape here. I have the last bit remaining pretty much of my Big Mama foam tape. I actually kind of stopped using this 3M kind. Um, I think I got some sort of knockoff. I don't think it was actually um, Scotch brand. It just wasn't the same as other rolls I'd had in the past. So I got a little turned off by this and kind of just stopped using it. So um, I have been primarily using the one inch foam tape from scrapbook.com. I really like that. However, I have been seeing a lot of people using the Big Mama foam tape from Simon Says Stamp and I'm really tempted to get some of that because I think it's just a little bit um, thinner. So it's not going to make it stand up quite as high, but it'll still give you dimension. So I'm a little bit intrigued. I think I might uh, get some of that on my next Simon order. So stay tuned for that. I'll let you know what I think of it if I do end up getting it. But um, like I said, I've been pretty much using um, the one inch foam tape from scrapbook.com. So here I'm just kind of using up the last of my my scotch tape here for, for this card. But So it's going to have some dimension, um, but it's nice even dimension, so it should do okay and hopefully not get too wrinkled or, or crushed if I ship it out here. But I'm just going to lay that straight down on this panel and then there's that nice embossed white border and I'm just going to add a little bit of blingage. These are iridescent white sequins. I'm just going to put those in odd numbers um, all over the composition, some on the colored panel and some on the outside. Oh, I decided to do three and three. So still odd numbers but you know, even numbers overall. And I'm going to use my jewel picker to put those down. And I have some, I think it's, it was small, medium, large, but now I might just have two sizes of these sequins left over time. I'm not sure, but I feel like the white component really tied in the white border um, around the card and kind of tied it all together. So um, that's basically going to finish the design. It's really not too complicated. I was able to save some time um, by having the panel ready to go. But that's also something fun you can do. You could just batch up a bunch of these watercolor panels and just kind of have them on hand or use them to batch a bunch of cards. But um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I love the color. I love the sentiment. And yeah. So thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll link everything in the video description box below. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.